Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod. I'm your host and your Mokolava and right now we are playing as a country that is pain within us but our place in the world. After decades of isolation we can finally look outwards and begin determining our place in this trouble, troublesome world in which right now we're going to support urbanization and watch the world burn. Spain is mainly a rural country and we want to modernize we need to encourage immigration to the cities where the factories are. So we get some more civvies because as someone did say in the comments from last video we are in no shape ready to Join any war. It, okay, I was wondering, like, Italy. Yeah, what's going on there? Oh, no, they actually fought. What is this? Is this an ex commissariat? Hey! Officers in court. Allow the local police. Very cool. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, we have the Reich over here. Um, Independence of Croatia. Ustazla sounds really cool. Don't know much about him, though. But, uh, let's see. Slovenia. I, that is some facial hair, my goodness. Or at least some chin hair. Um, uh, Miklos, Mr. Vittorio, where's Benito? Benito, where are you? So honestly, if I was Luxembourg, I'd be, I'd be a little concerned, I'll be honest. I'd be a little concerned about how things are going on. And of course, the French state, we have Gustave Hervé. So, yeah, things are, they're looking right now. Free the bank. Alright. Levy and Mas. Cool, but regardless, for us. Oh, we can contain Italy. Italo Spanish conflicts approach France after support but friend the UK treaty with Germany um well the German Republic does not exist the war against this F word we go to war with Germany that'd be interesting befriend Portugal we can't do that a friendly democratic government is taking control of Portugal we should approach them for our ambitious cooperation plans or liberate them uh, Portugal is suffering from a reactionary yoke we need to support the Portuguese democratic opposition that is currently exiled in Madrid and destroy the Estado Novo by force we need Britain to agree though I don't, do, we, do we need them to agree? Actually, what do we have here? Like, we should get enough political power, screw everything else, and just build right now. We just need to build. Um, Doc, like we saw yesterday, I think this one, 10%, 10%. 5% more industrial research speed versus 10% more construction tech research. Uh, this one I like. I prefer the industrial research speed, because I can use that more probably. But I like the construction tech, which doesn't apply as much, but it's still not too bad. So, right now, we're building up roads quite a bit. Like, as much as I love building up roads... Build up more civvies. 80% is really good. I do want to save some of our dockyards. Uh, so we did it there. That's fine. And they just completed another one. So they go. Go three civvies for now. That should give us a good amount of time. We could do some stuff here, but I'm not I'm not going to bother with that right now. Now we can still join the Allies. We can't join France. Because... Because we can't. Because they're not certain ideologies, I guess. But, you know. And they have to be a faction leader in there. Well, now I'll pop it to Germany, so... Wow. That is... To be honest, that's a little concerning for us. Um, I, I would like to join the Allies. They're still doing okay over here, but they really need America in. Like, holy carad, do they need America in. But yeah, like, like someone did say, we're not really ready yet. One civvy, one milli. Uh, Catalan textile industry. Catalan textile industry is very strong, and we get a lot of benefits from it. We should make state investments in it to ensure it remains profitable. Follow it up with. Uh, we could revitalize the economy, but... Eh, reviewing the mining grants is not bad for resources. 30 tungsten would be really... That'd be nice. I don't really need it, though. We need more chromium and such. This would be good as well for synthetic. So, there's not a lot else here we can do. 35-day focus. Um, let's review the military. I think we could really use more experience, especially army XP, just because I want to use 40 combo with infantry. I think that'd be very good for us to use. And I think... Ugh, the allies might lose it. They really need... We... Ugh, the Soviets, what are you up to, man? You beat the French, not the French, the Finns last time. But, oh. Mongolian People's Republic is a puppet. And Tuvan People's Republic, cool. I forgot Tuvan Tuva even exists. Salchak Toka. Do you have a unique focus tree? No, it doesn't really look like it too much. Arise you workers from your slumber. Follow Lenin, alright. Mongolian People's Republic. Anandian Amar. Improve at support companies. Cool. Um, but we're getting close to getting more stuff. Cool. And go ahead and grab, review the military. It's time to review the state of our armed forces. The army is outdated. The air force is almost non-existent. And the navy is too small. It's time to fix that. Expand this, guys. Expand the military factors in Casa. Three 100% research bonus for the air doctrine is not bad. Defense Spain would be pretty good. Seven and a half and then 15% more construction speed for land forts and uh, other stuff. Not too bad. And we'll go with that one, too, because we can so, after the next focus will be what? After we choose this one. Thank you. Remove the old guard. Increase the military budget. Wouldn't be bad. And getting another millie is not a bad idea. 35-day <sighs> focus. 
But we can remove the old guard. Um, we can remove that stuff too. Anyways, we only have two focuses right now. Never again, which is kind of nice. And thriving internal market is also pretty good as well. But let's go ahead and do civilian ammo factory. One important step in reducing our lack of modern weapons is bolstering domestic arms production. Thus, the Zephilia ammo factory shall be greatly expanded. As we are just going to build, build, build a living crap out of Spain. Like, we have so many civvies, which is what I want. A massive industry, so we can keep building, building, building. So this way we can at least afford to fight the Germans. Um, 1940, of course. There's, there's a lot of stuff there I'm not done yet, so let's grab some more cap. Yeah. So what's the next thing we're going to do? We could join the Allies. We could... But we're not really ready to go to war, like I said earlier. I love that we're still in war economy somehow, but don't bring that up to anybody. Uh, light tanks are okay. We'll probably go with this one first. I prefer artillery stuff. Oh! 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 Whoa! 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 What is going on? Hold the phone. Hold the... What the... Big daddy lovers. What the heck? They do have a battleship, which is nice. Go ahead and just go home. Go home. We have no... Oh. Alright, so this doesn't go well. I'm going to have to use commands because I, I want to have a fair fight. And they just randomly go to war with us. Oh my god. The war against fascism. The most decisive war of human history has begun. We can't say idle as the free peoples of the world fight against the evils of fascism. We need to join the war. We're joining the allies. What the? Bro, we want to... Bro. Bro. John has... What? FDR lost. Oh, sure, guys. We'll take some stuff. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, actually, hold on. As long as the French don't lose. If I lose this part of uh, Spain, or this part of Spain, Africa, I'm... Oh my gosh, that's so bad. I'm okay with that. I'm honestly really okay with that, so... Let's see what we can do. Are we at war with France yet? No. Oh, we're gonna get navally invaded. We are so gonna get navally invaded. But with the British are able to land here, that's okay. The British accept. Good news, the British have accepted. And now we're officially part of their lines. We are safe for now. Yes. Oh god, I did not want war yet. I did not want war yet. Don't let them get, get, get on the line, you son of a rock suckers. Go... Oh, and now they're... We're with Greece, too. Okay. Um, so, if we make any more divisions, we got to get some Coast Guards going, too. They joined the Allies. I didn't want to go to war, man. Eretria. Morocco, they'll be fine. We're going to lose this up. You know, that's not a bad idea to do, Luxembourg. We'll gladly take you guys. They're definitely going to attack us eventually. Our, our guys are just not strong enough, I think, just yet. To do too much. Sure, guys. We'll take stuff from you. All right, Francisco Franco, I know you lean certain ways, but, like, uh, you're going to have to hold as best you possibly can once they start. Because, let's be real, they're going to start attacking eventually. Our divisions, oh, my God, no, I had to say something. They're not very good. Oh, my gosh, please, 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 for the love of God. Oh, no, not like this. Not like this, please. Um, Please, not like this. What are we supposed to do? Where are our allies? <laughs> no, not like this. Please, no. Spain is just, oh, my gosh. Defend Spain. Um, I'm not sure that's going to really do much for us. 70 day focus? Are you kidding me? We have to make this country a fortress. No enemy shall enter our precious land. Well, I don't know about that. The Germans are already moving in. Oh, get them Soviet boys here. We love the Soviet boys even though we killed them off earlier. Ah. Oh, God. The tanks are rolling in. Oh, God. Uh, is there anything we can do? We're holding them off as best we can. We're struggling. We're definitely struggling. Yeah, don't, don't attack. Do not attack. Is this a mountain? Oh, these are fort. That's a mountain there, too. Oh my god, America, can you come in the war? We might actually lose here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Hispano stuff? Um. Why did they go to war with us, though? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Join France. Uh, there's literally nothing we can do about this, you know? I mean, I don't want to lose, but, like, is there literally anything else we could do? Go and retreat. They broke through the mountains. Yeah, that's unfair. What the heck? How did Germany able to be able to go to war with us? Like that, so fast. Is there anything about Spain here? Well, it talks with Franco, which he didn't want to do. Operation Felix. He must have done this one. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done. We're screwed. There's literally nothing we can do here. Just keep him in place until this guy's gonna retreat. Yeah, we're dead. 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna go back and maybe fix this up just a little bit because this is this is a historical, but I don't like this. Well, everyone, I've done some uh, let's say uh, funky stuff off screen and uh, totally didn't use cons commands to make sure that I could at least survive here for at least a little bit. But here are the casualties right now. We've lost a lot of guys, but the Germans have been running into our lines just so much. But right now, they've literally just gone to war and declared war on the USSR, even though it's only May 7th. Which actually is probably better for them overall instead of starting in June. But they didn't give the territory to the Russians, which is interesting. But yeah, um, the Soviets gave or sent a lot of volunteers to us. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, but hey, at least another front opened up, which is awesome. Um, I did call in, or did get, uh, Juan Magu, so he gets more infantry attack and defense and slightly more population to use just because we could use it, and this will be beneficial for no matter where we're at, so, um, yeah, we'll see, they're still not letting up the attacks, okay. Bulgaria's really attacking hard. I mean, the Germans are gonna be out of manpower before, you know, too long, but we're holding for now, and expand the personality cult, at least we didn't, uh, totally didn't use too many council commands, but they have so much manpower, how much manpower does they probably have nothing. Oh, that's not good. But they are doing okay-ish. And now get to some dispersed industry. Um, we do some comments to go through as well, but like... I was not ready for this to happen, man. Like like a lot of you guys said, just, just kind of hang out. Don't go to war yet. Uh, but we're still doing okay. So I'm not super worried about it, but we've done a couple focuses off screen, such as reform, conscription. Actually, we went with infantry primacy. We can't be begin dangerous adventures with tanks with a world war looming over Europe. We'll improve our infantry using traditional tactics and reform conscription. We need more men. With comprehensive conscription reform improvements, combined with intensified army propaganda, we'll get more soldiers into the army. And and Instalaza SA. To expand our arms production, we'll create a new infantry weapons factory with special state funding and our artillery academy funds. We need to expand academia to artillery and acquire new artillery models. Our firepower must be increased to guarantee our victories. So at this point, I don't think they can really do too much against us. They should be like just also Romania uh, join the Axis too. So Greece is gone. Um, we should do okay at this point, as long as the USSR does raise its conscription level. My God, if it does not, we're screwed. But like, yeah, I didn't want to use cons commands to do this. Poland still doesn't. Hungary's out of men. Oh, Romania's out of men. Croatia has a few guys left, and of course there's Germany there too. But please, love of God, raise your conscription level, please. Because we're holding out pretty darn well, and we're doing... I mean, it's not bad. It's really not bad. And at this point, we're just waiting for America. Please, America, get involved in the war, for the love of God. Uh, yeah, that's good. And grab some of that, because I want to motorize the army. I actually don't really need to. I'm going to grab that one, too. Doctrinal investments would be good to get, though. That'd be really good to get. So, we're going to beeline down this way. Defending Spain's okay. It's not really worth it that much. This is pretty good to do. Actually, we might do guerrilla warfare next. Just because you get more reconnaissance, more attack and defense on core territory, which would really help us out. But defend Spain. Of course, we, like I said earlier, we've got to make this country a fortress. No enemy army shall enter our precious lands, which is a little late for that. Oh, a little late for that. But America. Until John Nance Garden. I don't know how or why you won your election, but you know what? It could be a lot worse. And when you're done, just come on back, guys. Just come on back. So, I mean, with all the attacks we're suffering, the Soviet Union isn't doing too badly. They've lost, like, half of Lithuania. They, yeah, did they actually push into Stanislaw? It's not bad. And for Cisco Franco, I'm kind of disappointed he hasn't learned enough yet, but we could go back and check. But we're doing really well. Get some more attack, because we could probably really use that, even though then we saw some murder up here. Franco, why are you not learning enough? Um, he's a riotous, which is fine. Yeah, he's really good on defense. That's why we saw Franco here, so. Is that. I thought I saw some Japanese divisions. No, Italy, Italy, Reich, Italy, Romania. Not bad, just. I don't know. It's kind of crazy just seeing all this stuff. I do want to do some war bonds. I did forget that we need to get more factories, because we've been. We're pushing pretty hard here. Pushing pretty darn hard. So go boom, boom, boom. For now. Keep working on them civvies for now. It's also very good. Also, I didn't tell you, but I did make all of our infantry divisions like 40 combat with, so that'll be good. Some of our mountaineers are not 40 combat with yet, but obviously we could probably make them bigger. Oh my god, they're so bad. They are, that is so bad. Why are they so, this bad? At the very least, make them 14 combat with, and then throw in some arty. Not sure how much we can actually throw on. Since we do the army XP, we might as well do it like this then? Yeah. Let's make them 20 combat with. Get some expanded marine you know, core engineers. Make them just, make them decent. So it looks like they stopped attacking. It's kind of, oh, okay, Luxembourg, okay. Yeah, they're probably not doing great against the Soviets here. Oh my god. 
They're out of manpower. Please, for the love of God, Soviet Union, raise your conscription level. Why aren't they raising the conscription level? I don't understand. Soviet socialist patriotism? Should be able to get more than enough political power from doing that. No? Rations program? What we get for that, but... Fight ethnic nationalism. Guard units. Please. Please. You're going to lose a war if you don't raise the conscription level. God dang it. Which means we're going to lose a war. Which means we're not going to do very well. Which means... Not happy, Mr. Moko Lover. Facing South Tech. Don't make me use cons commands. Make sure you can at least raise your conscription level, guys. Please, 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 please. Are they still attacking us? No, they kind of stopped for now. It kind of sucks. There's still a lot of divisions. They're not looking great. I mean, we could probably grind them out. Especially once America joins the war. I mean, I don't want to attack yet. Or, you know, use cons commands for these guys just yet. But, I will if I have to. Um... What about airs that need roads still? Yeah. Motorized army? Oh. Well, infantry's important, it's also too slow. Motorization, sure, army's never late. Nice. Defense Bane. Oh, yep, they're not done attacking us yet. So, yeah. This has been quite the episode so far. Someone else says we don't do CEDA. I did say in the last episode that we'll go back and do the centrist government sometime. Um, Since that last video got like 100 likes, so... Totally. I promise you that. We'll totally go back and do the centrist government sometime. Not sure when, but I would like to do it relatively soon near the time of this video coming out, too. So, uh, Someone says I should join the Allies. Someone also asks, can I join the Axis? Well, now, it's a little too late for us, so... Yeah, we can't really join the Axis just yet again. Let's see. Someone says I should do the uh, Republic of China campaign in Cold War Iron Curtain, which I do plan on doing eventually. Not sure when, but I promise you eventually I will do it. And someone says build up the military, yeah. Like we said earlier, we weren't really ready for a conflict yet, but here we are. Extraction would be nice. Tanks. Land auction. Keep doing with whatever we're doing with. It's just... Good hospitals would not be a bad idea either. Up next, I think we're going to grab... There's a lot of guys here, actually. It's really good stuff we can grab. A lot of more organization recovery. We could get a lot more max entrenchment, but that doesn't help us push anybody, so... Um, artillery would not be bad. This gives you organization... Entrenchment speed and max entrenchment as well, just like with the guy we already have, or the guy we can choose. More guys like that. Re organization recovery rate, um, more armor, which we're not really focusing on armor for this campaign. Even more infantry attack and defense, and more population would not be bad. However, I do also like getting more uh, organization, because that's both good on attack and defense. So, yeah. I think just getting more organization overall would be quite beneficial. You know, this will give us some more population to use. Like, I, that's also something else that we've got to keep in mind, because we don't have a lot. So, you know what? More attack and defense, because this applies no matter where you're at. Go and grab it. So we got plus 10% attack and defense. And it's not even on core territory, which I think is great. So now we've killed off 1.1 million Spanish... Or no. Jer... Oh, we... Hmm. Huh. Words are hard. They've lost 1.1 uh, million men to us. We've, we've lost quite a few guys ourselves, and there's a lot of lag right now. But we've lost about 100,000. Oh, did they win over here? No. Yeah, as long as we keep ramming into our line, I'm kind of okay with it. And just go with that one too. That's fine. You're fine. Are they pushing in yet? Eh, not too much yet. They are, they're pushing in Bukovina though. Jesus Christ. Oh, did you guys. Oh, you actually capitulated! Oh, the Finns actually capitulated by 41. Wow, that is. That's interesting. Shock and all, baby. Just go shock and all. More damage, more damage. We need more artillery pieces. We're actually positive on guns, finally. That's actually really good. How much manpower does France have? Oh, they got plenty. You guys... I don't understand how these guys cannot raise the conscription level. I really don't like that. I mean, we're trying to get more political power or manpower anyways, but still. So after defending Spain, guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla was determined invented by us during the Peninsular War when we used it to kick Napoleon's army back out of Iberia. We're going to train our infantry and guerrilla tactics to make sure uh, foreign invaders regret every meter they take from us. Oh, yes, they will regret it. Get more soft attack, too, please. I'd love to attack here, but I don't think we're really ready to take on 15 divisions, so... Defense for now is going to be the best thing that we can do. Fight ethnic... Please. Please. I mean, if we do that, that'd be great. If we do the Pyrenees walls... I don't want to get too defensive here, because I don't want them to stop attacking us, because they will stop attacking us eventually. So, yeah... Um, ally cooperation. That wouldn't be too bad. Secure food imports. That's not bad either. I like that. Let's get some ally cooperation. And we can ask America for their assistance eventually. Now that we've joined an alliance, we need to cooperate so that we can get most out of it and together win the war. 
I'll be honest, this is definitely not the way I wanted us to go, this campaign. It was definitely not the way I wanted us to go. How's Africa looking? Jesus Christ, it's a mess. I've, that's why I don't like playing the UK. There's just too many fronts for them to deal with, and I don't like dealing with too many fronts. I'm a very simple guy, like... One front at a time, please. One front at a time. Please, please, please. Tell me you did. No, you didn't yet. God dang it. Huh. Improved relations. General Secretary. He's not bad. As a General Secretary, but still. Can you guys actually win here? That'd be great if you could. San Sebastian. I mean, technically, it is core territory. Guys, can you please help us out? As soon as we go down to 31, I'm... Okay. Yeah, just stop attacking. Yeah, just let them ram themselves. Oh, hello. It is. Artillery, yes. Yeah, that's mostly the main thing we're missing right now, which kind of sucks. Now, can we grab Brigade Montana? What does Montana mean? Is that, that must be Spanish. Well, oh! Okay, so now the, that part of Japan is declared war on the Japanese, too. That's interesting. I don't. I did definitely not expect that. So now, technically, we're fighting the Japanese as well, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Forty combat is the way to go. Very nice. Oh, we're so we're navy out here too, doing stuff. It's not great, but you know I'd rather have it. And we lost all of our subs except for one, which sucks. But whatever. Oh wait, what? Oh, America joined the war. Okay, so America joined the war because the Philippines were declared war upon. Okay, so America's in. We're gonna feel okay here. Forty-one. It's almost forty-two. Get some more research speed if you can. Thank you very much. Not bad. Oh yeah, we don't have that many convoys. Yeah. Hmm. Well, at least America's in. Right? Uh, the Netherlands are gone, but whatever. Yeah, America's in. That's good. You have only 80 divisions. Please don't lose your navy like you did. Like it's in some of my campaigns, America. Jesus Christ, this is a mess. Uh, they're still holding on, though. They're definitely still holding on. Even without raising the conscription level. They're still holding on. They're now up to 1 to 2 million, which is not bad. It's a lot better than it was earlier. Now they stopped attacking, which is regrettable. Never mind. You know, some areas they've, they've stopped attacking. Just, I hope America can do well. How many people come up here? Our ships suck. You don't get me wrong, they'd really suck, but we do the best we can. We should get some uh, research for our naval doctrine, too. I do want to do war bonds, but at the same time, I want to make sure that our infantry is really good. Like, we can't do this. Oh, we can do this one. Defense and breakthrough versus. Production guys. Let's go defensive breakthrough probably. Oh look at this. So think them if you can. But after this focus, yeah, I like cooperation. Ooh, 35 more that's a lot of tungsten. Move industry to the canaries. Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll lose a lot of stuff. The Republic needs you is pretty darn good. Recruitable population factor 35% more. Formula Nueva. Light armor division. Cool. Since we have the research for it anyways, the naval XP, we might as well use it, right? Right. Yeah, I don't think I want to join France. You guys are losing, so I don't really want to join you for that. Yeah, we're all not too bad. Like, this going to be a lot worse. Who is this? Jean Don Clique, just getting away with it for now. Recon Company 2 is go with 3, so you get just better better recon, because since we already have them honored guys already. Yeah, this has turned into a gigantic mess. I hope the Americans can push through Africa. I really do. I hope they can naval invade, like, France. I want a lot of things to happen. But America's here to help us out, so that's pretty good. Please tell me you can win here. Please. No. Oh, this might just turn into a stalemate for the rest of the campaign, which would really suck. Uh, and go two at a time. Because we're going to need more guns. We're going to need more artillery. We're going to need a lot of things. That's having a stockpile of guns, but that stockpile is going to run out soon enough. So now they're stacking our line. I might be tempted to pull our line away just so they continue attacking us. Because you can see, like, when we try to attack, we can't do that well. Um, yeah, it's definitely a standstill right now. I hope to see what America is up to. What is this? Wait, Republic of China. Oh, that China? No. 
Wow, that's a lot of resistance. Holy crap, Japan. They'll, oh, they're out of manpower. Yeah, they're done. They have up to 52 divisions max. Yeah, they're done. Japan's not going to be able to win. There's no way. There's no way. No way. America, how's your navy? Please tell me it's a good navy. Please. My god, America's divided. Holy crap. Now, they only have divisions, but... You have 395 ships, but only a single carrier. What? Okay, I get it. I love battleships too, guys. Uh, you know, I really question the AI sometimes. I really do. We're gonna need some dockyards too. Eventually. Eventually. After Allied cooperation, secure the food imports. Uh, the war threatens our food supply, and we might face a famine soon. We need to secure food imports from our allies so we avoid famine. Well, I do like that they're still attacking us, though. It's kind of nice. They haven't forgotten about us completely yet. Yeah, their navy sucks, but it, it's Soviets. What do you expect? Well, I don't think there's really much we can do here. Except re maybe read a few more focuses. So, secure, secure some food imports. And then ask for American Air Support. The U.S. has an enormous amount of factories and their production levels are staggering. We could ask President John S. Garner for some support for Air Force, modern plans, and better organization and tactics. And Company Alada del Wolframio. There's a lot of untapped tungsten in, in Galicia waiting for us to get to it. We can set it up, get, or get set up, together with our allies. The mining company that ensures that we all have enough tungsten that our enemies don't. But honestly, there's not much else we can do here for right now, except for me just kind of hanging out and just getting things done. And just like waiting for them to grind themselves out as America invades Italy. So, hey, if you enjoyed the video, the shorter video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully the Allies will have invaded more of mainland Europe. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.